as a student, we learn a particular major in our university and then we try to expand our skills doing internships, training programs and so on. And the purpose is to basically know enough to get a good job. However, in this age of automation, there are a certain set of skills that are beyond the classroom and they can either increase the creativity and fun within your technical major or subject or they can just bring a lucrative uh, dimension in your life. The best part about these skills is that you can go ahead and use the mighty internet and free resources available. Hi, this is Adhika Maksud and you're watching my channel where I talk about study skills, scholarships, productivity and so on. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some skills that you can acquire beyond the classroom environment. So let's get started. All right, so what are these skills that I'm talking about? Now, you have heard about Adobe. So these are Adobe courses on digital designs um, like Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Spark, and there are just so many products on Adobe. They provide a whole variety of creativity and design that will make your teaching, your learning so effective and so much fun. Then there is Coursera, which is an online platform for courses that expands to every field. It's marketing, fashion design, story writing, whatsoever. There is Khan Academy where you can learn how to program. There are different programming languages. I personally have used this platform to learn Python language. And then there is Skillshare where you can learn anything from a piano to how to do video editing or just how to be productive. These were a few examples, but there are a dozen more platforms where free or some subscription based learning is available. Today, I'm going to talk about Adobe Education Exchange and how I took some of the courses and what I have learned from there and how it can be beneficial for you as well. What is Adobe Education? Adobe and Khan Academy has started this platform where tutors make their courses and teach you about one or more Adobe products. These are self-paced courses, which means you can work on them at your own convenience and time and schedule it the way you want it to be. Talking about Adobe products, here is a list. We have Premiere Pro where you can do video editing. We have products that can help with animation, illustration. You can create posters, you can create cards, flyers for your events, and just so much more. Adobe tools empower not only students, but also teachers to think creatively and communicate effectively and you can just improve whatever you have been learning or teaching in your ordinary classroom environment into a much more idea-oriented and fun uh, platform. So before I start and tell you about the courses that I took and how they went, I'm going to tell you why I took them. When I came across Adobe Education Exchange, I was thrilled because I got the idea that using a free resource that is now available on the internet, I can gain more skills which I can use for my personal as well as professional life. So I learned whatever I've learned so far, I have used it to design an online course. I'm going to use it to improve my YouTube channel. My next target is how can I improve my data visualization for my research using Adobe. Overall, it makes you self-sufficient and more efficient. All right, so I took two courses initially. One was digital storytelling in your class and the product was Adobe Spark. And the other course was design graphics with your students and the product was Adobe Illustrator. Both the courses were three hours long. They were self-paced, which meant I can do them whenever I want. Now let's see what was in the course. I really liked how they designed the course because it was easy to understand, easy to follow. They had an introduction they had tutorial videos, so every tutor made a video with an example. So you can watch a demonstration by a tutor and then you can replicate it. Center that, the header as well, and just a bit more text. Now I could click on these arrows in the middle and swap the size of my layout. If I click on the image, I can replace it. If I decide I no longer want to use this, I can just click somewhere on the text side and delete my split layout. Third thing was they give you an assignment to do at the end of the course. You can choose whatever you want to do that comes under your, your field, your subject. 
and then you have to submit that assignment. When you finish the assignment, it goes to the reviewers to review. Meanwhile, you have to look at what other students have done and then they ask you to comment on at least three of them. Once the reviewing is done, you also get a certificate from Adobe. Another thing that I really liked was that there was a platform for sharing ideas and it was just open to whatever comes to your mind from the course and from learning from the hands-on experience whatever you can come up with an idea you just share that and it was so appealing to see what people came up with so here's how i did it each course was three hours long however i time boxed and i actually was able to do both of them in an hour and a half well, I did watch the videos at 1.25x. Now let's talk about my first course, which was digital storytelling in the classroom. I have an experience of teaching and I was assigned to improve and design an online course recently. So this product really was helpful. Now, um, I have been using Spark for a while, but I still took this course to understand more and see the in-depth tools that are available. When I enrolled into this course, over a weekend, I started this and I went through the videos, created my own product, and here is a few. I worked on precision agricultural assignment. Uh, this web page will be used to introduce a module to one of the online undergrad classes in my department. And I can always improve it in terms of how I can add a video in it, how I can switch between uh, pictures, images, wordings, and so on. The other product was Adobe Illustrator. That was more of using and learning the graphics for the students. So I struggled with, with this one. I struggled creating a graphic. However, um, initially it was, uh, it was taking a lot of time and then I had to switch my topic for my assignment and then I picked something which was simpler. And that's showing my quarantine life routine. Now I have to say for Adobe Illustrator, I don't think this one class was enough for me. It is a steep learning curve. So I do plan on taking another class and see if I can improve on creating my own ideas using Illustrator. It would be hard though. Another product that I got myself enrolled in is Premiere Pro. So uh, since I've started YouTube channel, I was like, I should learn more and more about video editing. And Premiere Pro is one of the best products that's available for this purpose. The class I got enrolled in, now this one is a 50 hours long class, so let's say this this will this will take a while, but I think it's a I think it will turn out to be really helpful for me. If I have to evaluate, I I can say that they have made learning the product so much easier and user-friendly. I did not struggle with understanding where the tools are, how to get started, and how to create my own assignment. So I highly recommend for you to get started. And how you can do it is you sign up to Adobe Education Exchange. If you're a student or a faculty, you can use your university email address and you would have the membership and you would get access to all these courses for free. You can use Filter to find courses on a certain product that you want or just have a look at all that's available. Best part, if you don't have enough time to invest in an hours long course, you can get teaching resources. This is the amazing part because you can go ahead, look at the projects teachers have uploaded and you can download these digital assets for free. For example, here you can find material on growth mindset and you can see the Adobe product that was used. You can have a look at the subjects that it covers and then the material that is easily downloadable and then the students also exchange comments so you can build your network and learning curve well i hope this video was helpful for you and you get to learn a little bit about uh, this new learning beyond classroom concept i will be further sharing such opportunities with you and if you find this relevant to your interest do subscribe to the channel and keep watching have a great day signing off